While being on the spectrum can sometimes create challenges, these famous people with autism have been able to use their unique way of seeing the world to achieve great feats. Some of these famous people with autism may surprise you. You may not have known that some of the best known stars or some of the world's most fascinating minds are actually on the spectrum. Anthony Hopkins was diagnosed with Asperger's when, as he put it, my wife was trying to figure out who she was married to. He credits Asperger's syndrome with making him extremely restless and in turn, an unusually hard worker. Courtney Love, singer of Hall, was diagnosed as madly autistic when she was a young girl. While she was unusually intelligent, she struggled with school and with social interactions. My very mild Asperger's has helped me creatively, says the comedic star Dan Aykroyd. I sometimes hear a voice and think, that could be a character I could do. Alonzo Clemon's IQ is somewhere between 40 and 50, but somehow, He's capable of creating incredibly detailed and lifelike 3D sculptures of animals. In one interview, his assistant, Nasi Mason, said, No one has taught him to do this. For Clemons, sculpting is an unstoppable instinct. When they took away his clay, he would sculpt anything he could get his hands on. Composer and pianist, Matt Savage, taught himself how to read music when he was just six years old. By the time he was 11, his music career was so successful that he was signed to Bosendofa Pianos and performing for heads of states around the world. The inspiration behind the movie, Rain Man, Kim Peek was famous for being able to perfectly memorize any book he could read. While he did not have the motor skills to button up his own shirt, Peek could perfectly recall contents of 12,000 books. It's been widely speculated the director, Stanley Kubrick, had Asperger's syndrome. The director had been described as an intense, cool, misanthropic, cinematic genius who obsessed over every detail. Craig Nichols frontman of Australian rock band The Vines was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome after being charged with assault for kicking a photographer during a show. When he was let go under the condition that he'd seek help for his condition, Nichols shouted out, I'm free! When asked if Asperger's was the root of his destructive behavior, Nichols told an interviewer, Yeah, I'd like to say that. That's a good excuse anyway for acting like a jerk. Tom Wiggins was a master pianist of the 19th century who could play anything he had. Some called him the human parrot or the human phonograph. One of Wiggins' most impressive tricks was playing three songs at once. He could play Fisher's Hornpipe with his left hand, Yankee Doodle with his right, and sing Dixie all at once. Andy Warhol was never diagnosed with autism while he was alive. However, autism expert Dr. Judith Gould insists that he almost certainly had Asperger's syndrome. Warhol's monosyllabic conversational style, meticulously structured routines, and unique creative vision all show signs that the legendary artist was on the autism spectrum. When asked about his condition, Talking Heads frontman David Byrne said that he just sees himself as different not defective. We all don't have to be the same, Byron has said. I used to get annoyed when folks placed value judgments on sociability, implying those who are not gregarious or social are somehow less. It's just different. Tim Burton's long-term partner, Helena Bonham Carter, is convinced that the legendary director has Asperger's. You start recognizing the signs, she has said. 
we were watching a documentary about autism and he said that that is how he felt as a child. The creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, has been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. His colleagues have described him as reclusive and eccentric, but his unusual brain is the mastermind behind one of the highest grossing franchises of all time. The Splash and Kill Bill actress has been fairly public with her childhood diagnosis of Asperger's. Hannah has said her autism made her incredibly shy and fearful of large events. It is perhaps because of this that Hannah mostly stays clear of Hollywood anymore. Leslie Lemk struggles with his motor control so badly that he can't hold onto utensils without dropping them. When he sits down at the piano though, he can play anything he hears. Lemk's foster parents first realized his talent when they had him without ever having taken a single piano lesson, sitting down and playing piano concerto number no. one only after having heard it once on television. Tempo Gradin's work has reshaped the way livestock are handled, thanks in a large part to her unique insight into how an animal's mind works. But today, she's best known for giving the world a unique insight into how the autistic mind works. Her books have helped tear down the stigma around autism and helped others to better understand how people with autism see the world. Master of Horror, H.P. Lovecraft, died before Asperger's syndrome became a recognized diagnosis, but few have been posthumously diagnosed with it as often as he has. Multiple books have been written about Lovecraft's unusual habits. He certainly displayed all the symptoms, one read, a lack of empathy and concern for others, obsessive interests, and a work ethic bordering on the compulsive. Stephen Wilshire is an artist with the uncanny ability to draw any landscape after only having seen it once. As you can see in this picture, this is one of Wilshire's incredible photorealistic drawings. Rick and Morty and community creator Dan Harmon has never been formally diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. However, he's convinced that he has it. In an interview, he said, I started looking at these symptoms just to know what they are, and the more I looked them up, the more familiar they started to seem. Daniel Tamet made a name for himself when he recited PI from memory to 22,514 digits. However, his mind is capable of far more incredible things than just that. Tamet has the ability to master languages incredibly quickly once conducting a full interview in Icelandic after only studying the language for a week. Eccentric master pianist Glenn Gould, whose performances were marked by strange habits like rocking and humming while playing the piano, has long been suspected to have had Asperger's syndrome. Every new hall, every new piano, and every new person was extremely stressful to goal, Dr. Timothy Maloney director of the music division of the National Library of Canada says. He continues, as he grew older, he needed to be at a remove from society. This is an arc example of an Asperger's sufferer. Jedida Buxton couldn't write a word, but he had an incredible ability to do math. In the 18th century, he found work as a human calculator. He's a man who could sum up any math equation anyone needed entirely in his head. Derek Paravinci was born extremely premature at only 25 weeks. He was blind and suffered severe learning disabilities, but he also had an absolutely perfect pitch. Paravinci was 9 years old when he played his first concert with an orchestra. He has played for Princess Diana and has been featured on countless shows, usually labeled a superhuman. Those are some of the famous people that have Asperger's syndrome. If you know anyone that's suffering from Asperger's syndrome, it's important to know how to relate to them. There are countless organizations all around the country that are helping people with Asperger's syndrome.